Hello there and welcome to this week's 10 day trend and I'll be honest with you this 10 day forecast is a little bit more tricky than usual because as we head further into our period the weather in the UK very much depends on what happens over into the Atlantic but for the time being hot temperatures and also some possible thundery showers is definitely the name of the game. Taking a look at our bigger picture we've got low pressure out to the west high pressure towards mainland Europe and this brings in a southerly flow so we'll continue to see those warm if not locally hot temperatures but where we'll see them will change day by day and at times where we see low pressure to the west this will drag in some frontal systems and we could see some more cloud possible thundery showers too and by the time we get to the weekend high pressure largely dominating the weather but notice it's just sat towards the northeast of the country still that means we're dragging in that south to southeasterly flow so once again some quite warm temperatures building particularly across the southwest but across eastern areas with a slightly more easterly flow of wind that could also pick up some moisture from the North Sea and bring in some cloud and possibly some quite disappointing mornings over the weekend. Then later on in, into Saturday through into Sunday, once again, that low pressure still out to the west, bringing in those frontal systems, still dragging in that heat from the south. And with that warm, humid air, that does lead us to a risk of thundery showers. Then after that, a little bit of a question mark. We'll go through that in a moment. For the time being, though, let's start off with Thursday. Now, thundery showers, particularly across Scotland, Northern Ireland, possibly northern parts of England, there is a yellow Met Office warning issued here. So some quite frequent lightning, large hail, some gusty winds possible in these areas, particularly across the northeast of Scotland and Northern Ireland. And a chance we could see some thundery showers towards the start of the day across the southeast, but these should mostly ease away. And many of us should mostly see a dry and bright day. Another quite warm if not locally hot day. Notice temperatures are down by a degree or two compared to what we've seen today. High is now just reaching around 29 degrees Celsius but I wouldn't be surprised if we some localized spots just push up into 30 degrees once again. But particularly central areas, eastern, southeastern parts of England, that's where we'll see the peak of the heat. But even across the north we're still going to see temperatures in the mid-20s but obviously there the risk we could see some thundery showers. Another mild and muggy night to come, so it is going to be quite a warm start to the day and plenty of cloud across the far north too. This once again possibly producing some showers, but they're unlikely to be quite as intense as what we could possibly see on Thursday. Once again, a large portion of England and Wales seeing water wall blue skies for most of the day and plenty of sunshine. Temperatures starting to increase once more. Highs reaching around 31 degrees Celsius in the London air, but widely in the mid high 20s elsewhere. But once again, Across Scotland, Northern Ireland, starting to see a slight change in those temperatures, something a little cooler. Highs reaching around 21 to 22 Celsius. So it's, it's not going to be cold, but it's certainly going to be a little cooler than what we've had earlier in the week. So as we take a look at temperatures into a bit more detail, we can see today on Wednesday the highest of the temperatures have been quite widespread across the country. This is temperatures compared to average. Now notice as we head further into Thursday, the peak of those temperatures are likely to be towards the northeast of Scotland, eastern areas of England, parts of the southeast. And then moving into Friday, we see a bit of a flip in where we see the peak of those temperatures. So we're actually northeastern parts of Scotland, northeastern parts of England. We'll see temperatures more towards average for the time of year. But once again, we'll start to see that peak of the heat across parts of the south and southwest. And that's where we'll start to see those temperatures increase day by day, possibly leading to another localized heat wave across the southwest. That's definitely one to watch over the coming days. And that's still because we see high pressure slowly shifting its way to the northeast. We'll continue with that southerly flow, dragging up that warm air from continental Europe. But as I already mentioned, that too means we could pick up some low cloud from the North Sea. So eastern areas through Saturday morning are going to see a fair amount of cloud. Now it, it will tend to lift and break and we'll certainly see some sunny spells by the afternoon where we see the warmest of temperatures. But for some that cloud may linger on just for a little bit longer than perhaps hoped for. The best of the brightness is certainly going to be in the west, Northern Ireland, parts of Wales and parts of Devon and Cornwall. And once again, that's where we're going to see the best of the temperatures. Highs reaching around 29 degrees. Celsius this time in the southwest. Take a look at those temperatures in eastern areas though, much cooler than earlier in the week, more towards the low 20s and that's just where we're going to see that cloud linger on for a bit of a little bit longer. But for some, I know not everyone's a fan of the heat, so for some it will be a nice little brief respite for the time being. 
And then Sunday, once again, fairly similar picture, that low cloud lingering in eastern areas, trying to lift and break through the course of the morning. Then we do just need to keep an eye on this area, just pushing through into the southwest. Some thicker areas of cloud across Devon and Cornwall, perhaps parts of Wales, and a chance this could bring some showers, these possibly turning heavy and thundery. What you'll also notice later Saturday through into Sunday as well, as we start to find our way on the edge of that high, that things will start to turn a little blustery too a little bit breezier, particularly as we head into the afternoon, especially if you catch one of those heavy thundery showers, some quite strong gusty winds at times, certainly possible. Highs still reaching around 27 to 28 degrees Celsius and those slightly cooler temperatures still once again where we find that cloud lingering around eastern coasts. Let's take a look once again how this compares to average and where we see the shift of those highest temperatures. So for Saturday, southern parts of Wales, southwestern parts of England, western areas of Scotland, Northern Ireland seeing the peak of the temperatures. It becomes a little bit more widespread, a little bit more eastwards we'll see those higher temperatures into Sunday. Central areas of England, for example, will start to see a slightly warmer day on Sunday. And it's really those eastern areas that see those temperatures more towards average for the time of year. But on Monday, some areas will start to creep up slightly. So for the weekend as a whole then, the sunniest and the warmest of the weather most of the time is going to be in the west. A little cloudier in the north and east and in some areas that cloud could linger through much of the day. And in the southwest starting to turn that little bit breezier, some gusts at times and a chance we could see some of those heavy thundery showers. Keep an eye on the forecast for that one. Then after that, I'm afraid this is when it starts to get a little bit tricky and it's all down to what's happening across into the Atlantic where we currently have tropical storm Erin moving its way towards the States. And it's not untypical for this time of year to get some areas of uh, areas of low pressure getting picked up by our jet stream. We've had Storm Floris, for example, ex-tropical Storm Dexter, but it very much depends on whereabouts they sit towards the jet stream, if they sit on the cooler side or if they sit to the south in the warmer side. For example, Storm Floris did sit to the cooler side and it brought some wet and windy weather to parts of the UK, but actually ex-tropical Storm Dexter, it stayed, it, it generally became a filling feature and it stayed out to the the west and that's actually one of the reasons why we've seen our heat increase over the coming days it brought in that southerly flow and we dragged in the heat from the near continent so let's take a look at the track of tropical storm Erin. As we head into next week, it'll eventually become ex-tropical storm, and then we just need to see whether it is going to impact us here in the UK. Now the pink colours here, there's a couple of trajectories. This is from the American model that actually pushes this storm, the centre of the storm, more towards Florida. But you can see the bulk of the models, green being our global model that we use here at the Met Office, the blue colours, the European model, and most of them swing it round northeastwards around the eastern seaboard but still it really depends whereabouts it's going to sit around our jet stream as we head later into the week. From Monday onwards though it's highly likely that we'll still see a fairly similar pattern as to what we'll have over the weekend so high pressure sat out to the west. This is only a 20% chance so it's likely that high pressure will be slightly situated more towards the country so we'll continue to see those warm plumes of air across parts of the south but with that we'll start to see something a little bit more unsettled, cloud, thundery showers and they'll likely drift their way north eastwards through the course of the day and then from Tuesday onwards that really is when it becomes tricky to forecast. So early next week the influence of high pressure will eventually start to wane. We'll see increasingly showery conditions from the southwest drifting their way north eastwards but nevertheless the temperatures are still going to be above average so where you do see any sunshine it is still going to feel mostly warm and pleasant. Now it's towards the end of the week where we need to keep an eye on Tropical Storm Erin. Now of course what we do here at the Met Office, we look at multiple models and we run those models multiple times. This is our European model for example where we slightly change the initial conditions each time, each time that it's been run. And it does certainly give us a range of solutions, one of which is number 21. That shows quite a deep area of low pressure towards the west. That will bring some quite wet and windy conditions, possibly similar to what we saw with Storm Floris. But then we take a look at member two and actually that builds a ridge of high pressure and we'll probably continue to see quite settled and warm conditions. So it's really tricky to forecast towards the end of the 10 day period. So if you do want more details as we head further into the forecast, we'll make sure you stay subscribed to our YouTube channel.